The summer transfer window is officially open and clubs all around Europe have started doing some serious business. But while fans are mostly interested in the players their favourite clubs are looking to sign, today we want to look at who the club should be letting go. This is one player your favourite team needs to get rid of right now. We'll start with Liverpool. This one might be unpopular, but the Reds need to get rid of Mo Salah ASAP. Of course, he's still one of the best players in the world, but at 32, he's approaching the end of his career, so this seems like the perfect time to let him go. According to reports, Al Ittihad in Saudi Arabia are offering upwards of £200 million for the Egyptian. Liverpool will be wise to take it and start a rebuild under the new coach. It could be the start of a new era, just like when they sold Coutinho and started that new era by signing Van Dijk and Alisson. I mean, if you got a £200 million bid for Salah, wouldn't you really take it in a heartbeat? Meanwhile, Chelsea have to get rid of a former Liverpool player, Raheem Sterling. The Englishman just doesn't fit into the club's philosophy anymore. Chelsea are obviously trying to build a young team, which is why they've said goodbye to Jorginho, Thiago Silva, Kovacic, Koulibaly, Mendy and Ziyech over the last year or so. Sterling turns 30 this year and he's already passed his prime, so he should be on his way out as well. And he is one player Chelsea will not miss as they already have Mudrik, Nkunku, Jackson and even Palmer who can play on the left side of attack. Also, with Chelsea desperate to balance their books, selling Sterling to a Saudi club looks like an easy call. Speaking of balancing the books, Barcelona are a team that also needs to do that, which is why they need to get rid of Frankie de Jong ASAP. Of all the players Barca can realistically sell this summer, he is probably the one who would earn the club the most cash. He's highly sought after by clubs in Europe and Barcelona could get upwards of 70 million euros from his sale. In their financial bind, that's really huge for the club. Getting his wages off the books is another huge motivation for the club to get rid of the Dutchman. Also, the club won't even have to spend to get a replacement for him. They already have Pedri, Gavi, Gundogan and Fermin as midfield options and they could still promote someone from the academy like Marc Casado. Also, according to reports, Guido Rodriguez will be joining for free in the summer, so getting rid of De Jong seems like a zero-risk move. Another former Ajax man who needs to be sold this summer is Anthony. Man United just need to count their losses and say goodbye to the Brazilian winger. His wages are huge. Only Casemiro, Rashford, Mount and Bruno earn more than he does at the club. That's so much cash spent on someone who adds nothing to the team. Yes, a lot of money was spent to buy him just a couple of years back, but it doesn't seem like he's getting any better, so just move on. Amat has proven to be a much better right winger anyway. Meanwhile, Manchester City need to get rid of their captain, Carl Walker. Yep, some might argue that Haaland stops City from playing as fluidly as they should, but when you regularly score that many goals, you definitely get a free pass. Five golden boots in two seasons? He deserves to stay for as long as he wants. Walker, however, seems to be almost done. He is still one of the fastest men in the Premier League, but he's not so good at actually defending anymore. Also, he's 34 and past his best days. City will be wise to put him on the market now that he still has some value. Now this next one might be controversial, but AC Milan really have to get rid of Rafael Leao now. Leao is arguably the club's best player, but you know what? That also makes him their most valuable player. The club still needs to raise cash, and the best way to do that is to sell the Portuguese winger and begin a rebuild. Would they miss him? A little. Can they replace him? Surely. He has a 175 million euro release clause which can only be activated during summer transfer windows. Imagine what the club could do with that amount of money. It's certainly something to consider. Another sale worth considering is Rodrigo for Real Madrid. Now that the club has gotten Mbappe and Hendrik, it only makes sense to get rid of Rodrigo to make some money. He's the one guy who would generate a lot of money without the club missing him too much. They have Vinny and Mbappe on the left, Hendrik, Hozulu and Mbappe down the middle, Guler, Diaz and Valverde for the right wing. They'll certainly be fine without Rodrigo. And considering Madrid still wants to sign Euro and Davis this summer, and perhaps Viet's next summer, selling Rodrigo is a good way to go about financing those moves. And speaking of Alfonso Davis, Bayern Munich need to get rid of him ASAP. The defender looks like he wants to go and Bayern would be wise to sell him this summer instead of losing him for free next year. His contract expires in 2025 and reports say he's refusing to extend. 
Getting rid of him right now seems like a no-brainer for Bayern. Arsenal, though, need to get rid of Gabriel Jesus. Havertz appears to have owned the centre-forward spot, and Arsenal still seem to be looking for another centre-forward. That sends a clear message. Arteta has moved on past Jesus. The Brazilian stock will continue to fall at this rate, so it's best to just get rid of him now, though they can still get a fair amount from his sale. Yeah, you might say he can play on the wing, but then they already have Saka, Martinelli and Trossard on the left and right. Also, Jesus is the second highest earner at the club. If he's not going to have a leading role in the team next season, then it's best to just get rid. Atletico Madrid, meanwhile, need to get rid of Jan Oblak for a different reason. He has been vital for the club for ages, no doubt, but he looks like he's past his prime and this might be the time for Atletico to cash in on him. Mind you, he's also the club's top earner. He's currently on over €400,000 a week, which is more than 50% more what the next guy earns. So sell him now, get some cash from the sale, get his huge wages off the books, and then get a younger keeper to replace him. That seems like the smart way to go for the Spaniards. Do you agree with our pick? Who do you think your favourite club must get rid of this summer? Tell us in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so you never miss out on new content and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.